blog for Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the 29th and 30th of November and the 1st of December. And I'm just shuffling the daily guidance cards and just seeing what do we know, what do we need to know about how to expand our lives, our consciousness, our possibilities this weekend. So, child. And I have to say, this is about the inner child again. So Friday is playtime and um, it says you care deeply about children and they readily respond to your love. All children, including your own inner child, require love, affection and attention. We can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you. So it's a really, really great day to focus on opening our hearts again being playful, being playful with the children around us and making them feel protected and safe in being playful and exploring their imaginations and also allowing ourselves to feel that, allowing ourselves to really connect with that inner child, that inner playfulness and to do any healing at all that we need to do in order to expand and to move forward. That seems to be a theme for this week, but I'm gonna pick a card to go with it and I'm gonna go with the secret language of color and I'm going to ask, what do we need to know about connecting with children the inner child and the energy of playfulness that will help us to expand this weekend. Awaken your passion. I love that. Perfect. So we know that children are very passionate about what they love. They don't question it. They don't sit around asking, is this the right thing for me? Is this the right path? A child will play with model aeroplanes for hours. A child will dance for hours. A child will collect shells on the beach for hours without questioning it. And this is the kind of energy we're up being asked to explore on Friday. What is it that you can do? And if you're at work all day on Friday, then Friday evening, it's time for you to think, what is it that I can do for hours and not notice the time just slipping away because I just love doing this thing so much. That is the passionate energy of Friday and that is the childlike sense of purposefulness and wonder that's based on exploration and play among the things that we love and enjoy the most. So that's for Friday and for Saturday, um, I'm gonna ask, what do we need to know on Saturday that will inspire us to stay connected with our passions and to stop robbing and cheating and fooling ourselves out of being allowed to do that? How can we become more playful? How can we be more like children in the sense that we allow ourselves to do what we really feel our hearts are calling us to do? So I'm going for the Guardian Angels deck again with their lovely heart shapes. And the card I've got here is Action. Great, okay, so actually do that thing that you really want to do. It's not a day for talking about it. Saturday is a day for acting on it. And it always, once again, the weekend is about creativity, it's about play, and it's about acting on those creative impulses and bringing them into manifestation. So it says, drop all fear and just do it. You have the power to create and be whatever you truly want. Look inside your heart and take positive action in those things that bring you closer to achieving your desired goals. Nothing can stop you except your own fears. This card is positive confirmation from God and the angels that the time is right for you to start a new exciting venture. Okay, so Saturday is going to be the day of action. Friday is going to be the day to play and get excited about that possibility. So if there are things that you're putting off, putting on the back burner, um, all throughout the week, Saturday is going to be the day to take the first steps, to take the action steps, to make them more a part of your life and your reality. Sunday, we're going to go with the daily guidance, daily, uh, yeah, right, so Sunday is cleanse and detoxify day. So I have to say, we're all looking at how to raise our vibration, how to come up in frequency, and this is of course the most obvious um, kind of expansion for light workers, for those on that path of ascension, for those who are aware of the changes currently happening on the planet and wanting to be a part of that shift. And another way that we can raise our vibration, raise our energy is to cleanse and detoxify. So if you've been, if there's been any sort of excess at the weekend, Sunday it's time to take stock, 
stock. It's time to think about what you're really intending in terms of gaining mastery over this body. I know that's a big word and I personally don't know any masters myself and I'm not one, but that's what we're moving towards. That's the aspiration to become more aware of what we do and what the result is. So in other words, if we know that when we drink more water, when we eat more fruit and vegetables, when we do more deep breathing, and when we meditate every day, we have a stronger connection with the divine and our vibration is higher. When we laugh more, when we play more, when we're creative, when we hug more, when we share more. If we know those things, Sunday's going to be a day to ask, where can I fit more of those things in? How can I let go of some of these excesses and honour that path, honour those things more throughout my week, whatever stresses I come across. So the card says, with great love and respect, we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body. At your request, we'll help you to, dis to develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress as well as ease any sorrow at shedding your old ways. Give your cares, worries and concerns to us and feel the beautiful grace of your newly purified body. So once again, the angels are emphasizing there's no judgment from them. There's no judgment and there is nothing that says you have to become awakened and you must become a master right now. It's a question of experimenting, asking for help, trusting that you'll receive the help, not only to purify and detoxify and raise your vibration, but also to understand why you do the things that you do sometimes when we slip out of alignment, and also to find ways that we can actually correct those things and feel stronger about staying on that path of detoxification. So that's it for the weekend, everyone. Have a great weekend, and I'll be back on Monday. Thanks for watching. Have fun.